Hi, this is Miles Marie, the soldier of Mary. I want to talk about starting the Legion of Mary in your parish, in your community, the place where you're living. The Legion of Mary is a system of sanctification. It's there to help you to become a saint through serving Our Lady as one of her soldiers. In the Legion of Mary, you don't do one particular work. Rather, you hand yourself over to Our Lady. I am all thine, my queen and my mother, and all that I have is thine. As, as one, and as one of her servants, as one of her soldiers, you work for her. The Legion of Mary is so important in our world at this moment because there are so many people doing all kinds of apostolic things independently when they feel like it. When they feel like it, they talk to their neighbor about the Catholic faith. Maybe they visit someone who's sick when they feel like it. The Legion of Mary is a system. You meet every week. You are allocated work, evangelization work or consolation work or work preserving the Catholic faith. And you do that work in pairs and then you report about it at the next meeting. It's a system. It's a system of evangelization and of sanctification where you become like Our Lady, like Our Lady bringing Our Lord to her cousin Elizabeth. So the Legion of Mary, I've mentioned it in some previous videos. And here I want to talk about starting the Legion of Mary in your parish. OK, I'm presuming that you don't have the Legion of Mary in your parish and I'm presuming that the Legion of Mary is nowhere near you. You're kind of out on your own. How can you start the Legion of Mary? Well, first thing, get a copy of the Legion handbook. Download the Legion of Mary handbook, which gives you an inspiration for what the Legion of Mary is about. You just need to read the Legion of Mary handbook and you know exactly what the Legion of Mary is about. One great uh, legionary once said that the whole Catholic faith, traditional Catholicism, could, rebuilt, could be rebuilt from scratch with just the Bible, the Legion of Mary handbook and the Catechism of the Council of Trent. The Legion of Mary handbook is more than just a rule book. It's a book of spirituality. It's a book which explains the theology of the Legion of Mary. It explains the defense of Our Lady against Protestant heresies. And it gives impetus to do apostolic work, telling you exactly what the stakes are. How, if you do not become a soldier of Mary, souls will be lost. There are many souls passing through the stream of time. And those souls will be lost if you do not do something about them. OK, so you're out on a limb. You're in a place without the Legion of Mary. How can you start it? You get a copy of the Legion of Mary handbook. You start reading the handbook. Just begin reading it. Read a few key chapters and then gather some friends together. Gather some other faithful followers of Our Lady. Gather them maybe in your house. If you can't trust your parish priest, Gather them in your house to begin with and together pray the prayers of the Legion of Mary, which are in the handbook and follow the following Legion of Mary agenda. I put the agenda up on your screen. Copy that out. That's what you need to follow in your meeting. If you follow that agenda faithfully, then you'll have the Legion of Mary running in no time. The Legion of Mary is, of course, meant to be there as an aid for the parish priest to help him in doing his work. So once you've gathered your friends together and you're confident about the Legion of Mary, about the system, you've got to speak to the priest, whether the parish priest or whether it's the priest in charge of your chapel. You don't need to be part of the diocesan structures to be in the Legion of Mary. There are Legion of Mary groups, which we call Presidia, in SSPX chapels. And they operate perfectly well. You just need a priestly guide, a priestly spiritual director who takes a responsibility for directing the work that he wants you to do. The Legion of Mary is built around obedience and it hates independent action. So the idea is the priest, the pastor, he, he tells you the kind of work that he wants done. There are limits because the Legion of Mary doesn't do any material aid. And it's meant to be doing evangelization. The handbook says the characteristic and preferred work of the Legion of Mary is home to home visitation. 
So I suggest that you start doing home to home visitation. You visit homes in your parish. That is, you spend two hours knocking on doors, one door at a time in pairs and making notes on the visitation. And then you make a particular note of lapsed Catholics. And let's say you continue this work for about, um, let's say about three months. And by this time, you will have had quite a list of lapsed Catholics, many of which may be closer to returning to the church than others. And so after those three months, you return to all the lapsed Catholics and you offer them an invitation to what you call a retreat, a retreat. And you run that little retreat for them. It can be really simple. It can just be a talk, some refreshments, and then the chance to go to confession. You don't need to make it complicated. And this can be the work that you do for the first six months, year of the Presidium, doing the home to home, visiting the lapsed Catholics, running a little retreat for them. And then you can do the same for interested non-Catholics. You revisit the interested non-Catholics and invite them to a retreat also. That's great starting work for the Legion of Mary. Additionally, Legion of Mary is meant to be doing consolation work, visiting those who are weak in their faith, maybe due to sickness, due to illness, due to being housebound. And also the Legion of Mary is meant to be about conserving the faith, that is doing catechism, running activities to help youngsters grow in their Catholic faith. These are all things that you could do with time. To begin with, start doing home to home, or if home to home is impossible in your area for some reason, contacting people in the street, outside the underground station, outside the train station, in the middle of the city center, in parks, and get their contact numbers if they're interested or their addresses and then revisit them, invite them to laps retreats or don't call them laps retreats, invite them to retreats, invite them to retreats for non-Catholics. And then you've got a really good scheme of Legion of Mary visitation up and running really quickly. On the agenda every week is recruiting contacts. You're meant to be inviting others to your Presidium meeting. So the Presidium grows each week. So you ask each member, how many contacts are you making? How many are you inviting to our meeting? We want the Legion of Mary to grow. The priest should attend every meeting. That's why you need his support. That's why you need a pastor who's going to be supportive. And if he isn't, try the next parish or get a deacon maybe to be the director of the presidium but really you need a priest so if your parish priest isn't on board go to the next parish but he should be on board when he hears about the work that you're doing reaching out the laps for him bringing the, them to him wanting to go to confession he should be on fire with the legion of mary but the legion of mary is a system of holiness as you read the handbook you will grow in holiness in deeper spirituality of our lady of saint louis marie de montfort growing to love the rosary realizing that the rosary is the source of so many graces and being brought closer and closer to our lady yourselves the legion of mary is not that difficult to start in a parish you can ask for local legionaries to help you if they're around. You can even get an extension worker to come from afar and help you start the Legion of Mary. I was an extension worker. I went to South Wales and I was there for a month. Then I went to North Staffordshire in the north of England and I was there for two weeks. And then I was in a part of Warwickshire also for two weeks, helping to start Legion of Mary Presidia. There are experienced legionaries that are happy to come to your area and to train you to do different Legion of Mary works, works like visiting the red light areas, maybe visiting the gay bars, maybe visiting a school, maybe visiting a hospital or a prison, um, maybe running a literature stall in the town center. There's loads of works that the Legion of Mary can do and other legionaries can help you to get confident in doing new Legion of Mary work. Start off with home to home. It ain't that difficult. Honestly, approaching people with the Catholic faith is not as difficult as you might think it's going to be. Our Lady approached her cousin Elizabeth in such simplicity and holiness. We don't even know what she said to Elizabeth. The Holy Spirit inside of her, Jesus Christ inside of her, brought about miraculous activity in St. Elizabeth's soul. 
And the same happens when you begin approaching people in the Legion of Mary. It's not that difficult to start the Legion of Mary to get it going in your parish. You can do it. You can be a soldier of Mary. You can serve her and become a great saint in the process. May Almighty God bless you. May Our Lady intercede for you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.